Hello everyone. Today we are going to see interview questions on super and this. These both keywords are very important in Java. Super means representing a super class. This means representing a current class. Anything you want to access for the same class, you will be going for this. Anything you want to access for super class, parent class, base class, then you will be going for super. So just remember this basic fundamental. All interview questions are based on these concepts only. So let's start with the first question. Why do we use this keyword in Java? Why do we use this keyword in Java? This keyword represents current class object. So if you want to use uh, current class variable or method, then uh, method or constructor, then you will be using this keyword. Practically, you need to explain to the interviewer these things like when to use, let's say there is a class A. And it has variable called int h. Now there is method called public void set h. Now if you write h equal to h, I want to say this h is this h and maybe this h is this h. So Java will get confused. In such scenario, what we need to do is, here we need to write this dot h. Now Java will understand, now Java will understand that this is a global variable. Now Java will understand this is a global variable and this is a local variable. So if you explain interviewer in this way, then he will understand that you are clear with the concepts. So take copy and pen many a time in an interview and explain them with example. Interviewer will really, really impress with you. So guys, uh, what I want to say here, very simple concept. You need to convince interviewer basically. <clears throat> so this is a global and this is a local. Coming to next question. In what situation would you need to use this in a constructor in which situation so which are the example which I told you just now the example which I told you just now same thing you apply with the constructor I told you with the method same thing you can apply with the constructor means if you want to initialize int the second let's say this is a class and it has one variable int customer name now if you want whoever will be if you want whoever will be creating an object of customer class like this customer c equal to new customer you want while creating an object this variable should be initialized by sending value here maybe anything kiran then then you need to make constructor over here and inside that you must be having one variable called string customer and then you can write here this dot customer name equal to c so this you need to write so in such situations in such situations you can initialize global variables through a customer through a constructor so I hope you understood this. Next. Can this be used to call a method or access a variable? Yes. What would be the syntax? The syntax would be this dot a means you are calling a variable. But if you write this dot m1 means you are calling a method. Just remember it's very basic syntax. Same can be applied with the uh, the same can be applied with the super also. Next. When might it be good idea to use this to avoid naming conflicts? I already told in case of methods how I told, in case of constructor also I told. If variables are same, then you need to represent, you need to differentiate between local and global. That's why you use this uh, variable. So refer previous questions, you will get answer over there. 
Does this always refer to the current class instance? Answer is yes, always. What is super in Java and how does it differ from this? I already told at the beginning of this video, super represents super class object where you can call constructor variable and method whereas this represents a current class object. This is a big difference between these two. Can you give example of how to use super and this in Java? I already told in previous question but let me repeat that thing to you. Let's say there is a class A and there is a class B which extends A. Now let's say here there is a method called void m1 and here also there is a method called void m1. Now here void mx. Now from mx you want to call this method as well as this method. And you don't want to create object. In such scenario, what you are going to do is here you will be writing now what is going to happen? Meaning of meaning of This line is, it is representing this. The meaning of this line, it is representing this. So, within a same class. So, you can explain with that example. If same method name is there in the super class, same method name in the subclass, then from another method while calling, you can use this and super to represent both methods. In case of variable also, same. In what situation would you need to use super call to constructor or this call to constructor in a constructor? See guys. This is basically happens automatically. Even if you do or don't do, that happens. How class, if I make like this, class A and here class B. So whenever you extend this class, extends A, automatically constructor will be put there and automatically another line will get added that is super. So with this, constructor of this class will be will be initialized. So this happens automatically, you don't need to do anything. But now they asked you about this also. So in case of this, let's say there is a class, there is no question of now super class. Let's say there is a class A and it has two constructors. One is with that parameter and another is with, with parameter. So now to refer from here to here, you need to write like this. So this is one way to call one constructor from another constructor. From argumented constructor, we are calling default constructor. So this is another way. So let's move to the next question. When, my, when might it be a good idea to use super or this to avoid naming conflict? This question is repeated, which we already uh, seen in the previous questions. In what situation would you need to call super in a constructor? Super, you don't need to call. It happens automatically. But, but let's say there is a situation. There is a situation where there is a constructor here in this class, int a like this. Now, this will give an error. Therefore, you need to pass arguments here manually, explicitly. then only these arguments can be passed here. Otherwise, default constructor will be stopping you. So remember this thing. <clears throat> Next question, can it be possible to put super or this anywhere in Java program? Answer is no. Always these both things, anything at a time you can use at the first line of constructor only. You cannot put that into the next line. What I mean to say here, it's very simple that if you write like this, class X and it has void M1 and your and if you are writing like this, then it gives a error. Why? Because this must be, because this must be first line in a constructor. This must be first line in a constructor, not in a method. 
so that's the end of all super and these related to questions we have seen uh, many questions in uh, depth i hope you will be going through every question in detail and the kiran academy is providing more and more courses like this you can always subscribe to our courses you can go to our shopping cart and check out any course needed thank you